We're back again on Mercedes-Benz ESL emulator programming. This time we have from Mr. Duong. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, this is Mercedes-Benz C300. As you can see, it's 2009. It says W204, but this one is actually a W207. So we're gonna go ahead and check the EIS because that's what he asked. Make sure this is synchronized with the key. Check the key as well. And let's program it with our, our own emulator, ESL emulator. All right, let's get started. All right, okay. Let's go ahead and start with this ESL emulator, but first um, I already connected the, our DB15, the G-Box 2 here in the EIS. I'm gonna show you there's a diagram here. And of course, we're gonna make him another key as well, program another key. So this is the unprogrammed key. This is his working program key. And this one is our own. W204, W207, 212. Come get it from me, guys. If you know how to do this stuff, this is nowhere to find. Come get it from me. Just message me. So this one replaces the bad design ESL from the car. So we'll be replacing that. Let's get started. First, let's go to Emo got this here let's go acknowledge this then let's go to mercedes benz now remove this original key that we have okay then let's go to manual selection Start with the C class, C300 2009. So let's go there. Let's see us. Let's go to control unit and let's go ahead. We can go to the EIS tools right here. From there, we can go ahead and um, test the working key. I know uh, W27, you can't really test the EIS, but we can test the key if they're synced in together. Of course, getting this wiring diagram right here, just go down here, that wiring diagram, go to on bench G box, and W207 ma mass must match the, um, the EIS right there. W207, right there. Okay, then that's the wiring diagram, just follow that ground. Passive wire and can high, can low. Then, once you have that connected to your EIS right here, we'll go back. Let's go test the EIS status. So we have um, we have a G box use. So on bench G box. Okay, make sure. Let's test the working key. This is not the original key. That's the um, unprogrammed key that we have. This is the original key. W207, press OK. Insert the key, the original key, and the IR key hole, which is your XP400 Pro. Press yes. All right, communicating. All right, yeah, be patient. Make sure you're connected to the Wi Fi. Please insert the key in the EIS three times. Don't turn it. Just one, two, Three, there you go. Press yes. Then insert the other keyhole. Press yes. There you go. Reading this key is working key on this vehicle. Key position three. So this is a good key, good EIS so far. And Let's go continue to get the emulator. 
program the emulator. First, we're going to go back and escape. Escape. We're going to read the EIS data. Go to OBD on Bench Gbox. Wiring diagram is the same. W207. There you go, reminding us the wiring diagram. Press OK. Then reading EIS information. There you go. Press OK. Do you want to save the current EIS? Yes, we need to save that. We're going to be using that later. Press OK. So that's saved already. Let's go back. Now, we're going to get the password, which we're going to go all the way back, escape, and we're going to add a key. And also, he needed a key anyway. So we're going to... Normally, we don't continue to add any key just to get the password, but this one, we're going to make the actual key, program this key, because this is not programmed here. Only this one. So on bench G box, W207. Same more in diagram, press OK. There you go, let's begin. Communicating with the vehicle. So it says success. Look at that. That's one of success. I like that. Reading the frequency, you're gonna press this original key. Just press that one. There you go. Push insert to the IR key hole. Okay, let's go. There you go. Make sure that's not moving. Communicating with the key. This is the ignition key, smart key. No, it's not. Press no. Oh, he has three key, but right now he only have one. Get away. Press OK. Then you're gonna keep going. Detect the blank key. This is the blank key. Let's press it. Just press it. Right here. There you go. Once you press that, it said press the blank key in the IR key hole. Press there. Press OK. So that's the blank key. So you can see this is the original key. That's communicating with our blank key right now. Okay, is there a key password? No, we don't have any password. Press OK to continue to, to calculate your password. I can remove this blank key. We can do that later, use that later. Put it aside. Let's go ahead and press begin. After the key password is calculated, it may be required to insert again. Let's press OK. Insert the ignition key into the EIS and wait for five seconds, which is the original key in the EIS. Press OK. Five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. Pull the ignition key out. Press OK. Establish it. And we still have the original key here. It's communicating, no problem. So you can see this green light's blinking. Sometimes this one is be blinking. You gotta be patient with this. Make sure you have a good Wi-Fi path, Wi-Fi connection for this calculation password. It might may, may take time, sometimes really fast. There you go, see that it's blinking here. That's communicating. Just follow the steps. That was success. Insert the ignition key into the EIS. Wait for two seconds. Press OK. Two, one. There you go. Check whether if it can be turned on. OK. That is good. After pulling the ignition key out, insert in the IR key hole. Original key. Remove and put in the IR key hole. There you go. So now, establishing vehicle communication again. So you can see that one is blinking, that one is blinking, that means they are after password calculations being performed by two people on the server. So there's a line right now. Let's continue. Might take 10 to 30 minutes. So this is the process might take a while. So we're going to turn it off and come back how long it take. So right now we're currently in third place. And we'll come back, we'll see once we get the password and we're going to continue on the emulator. 
All right, guys, you know, guess what? How long it take that one? It only took like less than two minutes. So we have the password. I normally take a picture of that one. Just take a photo. We can name that one. Let's press OK. And then we're going to make a key. Insert the key ignition into the EIS and wait for 30 seconds. That will be the original one. Put it here. Wait for 30 seconds. Here you go. And I've been having good success with password calculation. That's like less than like 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It was the only one time I've, it took me like 3, 4 hours, which is like I was using a hotspot. And that's like literally on the car and you should you will see that in my video some of my other videos I have two one there we go password is good complete okay generating key file please wait so right now it's generating a key file this one might take a little while too but just be patient There you go. Success. Please insert the blank key into the IR keyhole. So let's remove this one. That's the original one. And this is the unprogrammed key. Blank key. Press OK. So we're writing it here. We're programming this new key now to the EIS to the car. And later on, we're going to check that if it's working as well once everything is done. So writing the key file. And you will, we will need a password for this. As well. Even though it says there. Adding, as you can see, key adding completed. After pressing OK, check if the new key can be normally according to instruction. Press OK. Insert the, key, the new key into the EIS. If the red indicator lamp on the key lights up and goes off, the key learning is processed. If the red indicator is still fleet, so this can have a red indicator right here. Let me see. Wait, I see that? And it goes off. That's what it was saying. The red indicator lamp goes off. That means is that process is done. You already did that, so press OK. Turn the ignition on and check the vehicle can be started normally, which is once after we start everything. And we can actually test this on the bench. Let's press OK. Check the remote lock and lock. Of course, we can't right now because it's not in the car. Press just OK. So that's done. This one is done. Key is done. We check this later. All right. Let's put that inside. I'm going to put that on the side. We're done with this escape. And now we're going to ESL2. We're gonna go ahead and program the ESL emulator that we have, which is this one, your very own Auto Perlue. Let's go to ESL tools. Of course, we're gonna get wiring diagram to connect it from here. I believe I don't know, I don't even remember. So we always follow the diagram. So I believe this is the red wire here on top. Another big red wire somewhere I'm gonna find it this is the big red wire top side and then the black wire the big black wire right here will be in the bottom left let's see this is all tangled but see it's gonna start lit light up there you go and then a K line right here the alligator clamp in the last bottom right make sure everything is connected properly there you go so we have that connected let's go ahead and zoom in just a bit if you can see what's the actions going on right now let's go w207 has the gbox been used yes let's go ahead then write the esl data this is the esl as you can see it's blinking start writing it right now we will need a password for this let me get this handy I might go ahead and put it aside so I can read it properly it's reading 
reading the ESL data. Make sure you don't move the wiring. There you go. And if it if it, if your wiring it's not good connection, it will let us know. It will tell us that something is not right. But right now, it's connecting. So you can see. Let me see. Mm. This is going to tell us what to do next. There you go. So we have this one. Press OK. Let's go to EIS EEPROM. EIS data. Normally, I get it all the way down the bottom. Today is March 10. March 10. Is it really March 10? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, it is March 10. So. We go ahead and get that March 10. I only have one for the day. Press OK. There you go, communicating. You'll see this change lights. We'll change this red one here. We'll turn green, flash green. And um, that's when we're writing it. But let's right now, let's go ahead. Um, they're going to ask for the password this to continue to write the file that we took from the EIS and that's the only way you can transfer these files they're like password protected so this is it press OK then the password I'm pretty sure see that let's go ahead type it make sure that you put all the characters in order that happened to me by r rushing it, not being paying attention to these letters and numbers, and um, it will not go through. But it's okay. It's gonna ask you to re-attempt it one more time until you get the right password. But just be careful on this. Okay, press enter. Okay, we'll see if we already put the right password. It will tell us. There you go. Writing the EIS data, as you can see, it's blinking here, green, red, blinking green and red, succeeded in writing, look at that, look at that, that's done guys, okay, what we can do, let's go ahead and remove this thing, we're done with this, this is done, that is done, so we can go back we can go back and check the um we can if you want to go to key you can check the keys so you can see here I think not key. let's go back to EIS tool let's go check the keys real quick we got a couple ways to check it it's the same one on the best gbox but the one we checked this a while ago press ok that's working key we know this is working right if you want to check it again let's check it again just just for the sake of the video let's check one more time that this is working um let's go don't don't move this wirings here so okay it's not connected so what i'm gonna do make sure it's all connected press okay that's working key i think i have kind of like pulled this just a little bit Make sure I got everything right. See, that's what happened if you're not connected properly here. Keep moving that. You lose the communication with um with the EIS. So right now, okay. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. That's working um, on the G box. Make sure it's connected. Press OK. Work that. Work. That's working key. <clears throat> Make sure we got everything connected properly. Sometimes we be moving a lot of stuff here. Hmm. Look at that. All right. Let's let's check the wiring right away. Okay. Press OK. Escape, escape, escape. Then let's go to EIS tools. 
think I did not put it properly with this wiring here. And that's working key on the G box. Press OK. Everything is um, that's working key. Make sure everything, all the wiring is connected. Sometimes you had kind of like move something just a little bit, it doesn't communicate. That's it. The power source is good. This one is good. Check the ignition switch is turned on. Oh, ignition switch is turned on. So we need to let me switch turn on. Red, black, green, green and red. The OBD sometimes is not connected properly. Sure we got that right. All right, let's do the one time. All right, let's go to EIS tools and then let's go to test EIS and key on Ben's G box. Press OK. Test working key. We got this connected. Make sure they're all like properly connected. As you can see, W207. Let's check the original key first again. Press the um, in the other keyhole, this is the original key. We're gonna recheck one more time. Go communicating. So you can see it's blinking and that's blinking. Remove it, insert and remove three times. One, two, three. Then press yes. Then put it back there. On the IR keyhole, which is the XP400 Pro. Communicating. There you go. It says this key is a working key. All right. Now let's check the one we just programmed. Test working key. W207. Insert to the IR keyhole. Press yes. This is the one we just program. Reading EIS. There you go. Remove it three times. One, two, three. Press yes. Then put it on your keyhole. Press yes. Reading EIS, there you go. It says this key is a working key in the vehicle. All right, see this one is working. They have two key. I'm gonna show you what it looked like. This is not a program one. I'm gonna show you what it looked like. Test working key. What does it look like if it's not programmed to the car? These two are both programmed to the car and this is not. I'll show you what it looked like. Communicating. There you go. Insert and remove three times. One, two, three. Press yes. Then fire keyhole. Press yes. Reading, this key is not working key. All right, so you can see this is not a working key. So we're done with that. We're not using this. This two is program, both of them program. And, and the last thing we're gonna do is test. All right, and the final test that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna test these keys. And of course the emulator, we know that's working. This is two key keys original key and the new program keys that we did check out check it out if it's working this is the unprogrammed key so you can see it's red that that will not start the car so this is not the program key original key green 
that starts the car with no problem. One more time. There you go. And the new program keys that we have. Green. There you go. One more time. Green. All right. There you go, guys. That's how you check. The key is working properly. The new one that, that we just programmed. And also checking our e emulator as well. All right. Alright guys, that's finalized our our work here. Thank you for our buddy Mr. Duong um, for trusting us and um, for you guys who need help just message me. I can make an emulator, I can sell you this if you need it. Um, I can make you a key for a great price, especially if you're getting me an emulator. I give you a great price for this, this on sale. And this one of course I'm gonna go ahead and cut the key as well. I'll do that separate video. I'll cut the key. And all right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, so we can have more videos about this. Thank you for supporting. Till next video. Peace.